Thanks for reading my review of Silent Hill Shattered Memories. It was a great game. I loved playing it. I loved writing about it. And now I've got a big thumb to show for it. Thanks for reading it. Whoever you are. Sorry for those slight technical difficulties there. Thank you for that, that uh, great and humorous acceptance speech. That will be the last time I ever insult a video game title, because obviously the video game gods shined down upon us and uh -huh. took us down for a couple seconds. Into the dark. Our level. apologies. Um, moving on, let's get right to the, to the funniest review. This is the review for, for the category Most Fun to Read. These are great. <laughs> the nominees are Joe Sue the Captain Cano for his review of Danger Dog. Chip for his review of Specialty Drinks at Disney World. Paul Weiss for his review of Twilight the Book. Jeff Daly for his review of Group on LA. James Beswick for his review of Dating. Kendall Con 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 <laughs> Fontenot, excuse me, for his review of Candy Corn. I love Candy Corn. Nicole for her review of Stuff My Dad Says. I, I somehow don't believe you when you say stuff. Stuff. My dad says. That's my dad says. A mm. And the winner is most fun to read review. These were all great, by the way, folks. Hilarious. James Beswick for his review of dating. Hopefully, you are not reviewing my dating life, James. If you haven't read the review, check it out. It's hilarious. <laughs> well, well, thanks to everyone at Lunch.com and everybody who voted for me. These were both tough categories with some great reviews. So I feel honored to be holding these two rather heavy trophies. Thanks once again. Jay, whoa. What, uh, what do you have here? I'm getting ready for the next category. Which Don't is? you know that this is my best movie list? All right. I know I didn't win, but I have quite the list. So let's get right into best movie list. And the nominees are Chris... Pandolfi for his list of the top 10 worst films of 2010. I have some ideas for that too, Chris. Sean for his list of time travel movies. Holly Smith for her list of epic love stories. Alan Sestad for his list of the top five time travel movies. And Kendall Fontenot for his list, Dastardly Disney, the best villains from the mouse that Walt built. I just love that title. And... The winner is, for best movie list, the winner is Alan Sostad, pardon my pronunciation, Alan, for his list of the top five time travel movies. Congratulations, Alan. Alan, you can even have him go back in time and redo it for you. <laughs> hey everybody at lunch.com, I just wanted to say thanks for uh, voting for my list of the top five time traveling movies as the best movie list of 2011, and I will thoroughly enjoy having a severed toddler hand mounted on a trophy sitting on my shelf for the rest of the year. Thanks a lot. We'd like to take this time to have a special award, not necessarily awarding one of the best reviews written in 2010, but we've taken this and awarded one of the best reviewers um, for 2010, but not just for the year, going well beyond that. And this is real, this is the Lifetime Achievement Award. Do you want to open the envelope? Thank you, I will. The Lifetime Achievement <laughs> Award for the 2010 Lunch Awards goes to Paul Tognetti, Drifter 51. Thank you. Paul has been a online reviewer for a long time. He's been on Amazon since 1997. He joined Lunch he was one of our very first members, and he joined Lunch in 2008. And from that time, he's not only contributed his, re his reviews, but he's contributed to the community. He's contributed his feedback, not only to other members within the community, not only to the other members of the community, but also to Lunch in general. I've had, personally, I've had numerous phone calls with Paul, getting his feedback and getting his insights. And it's been extremely valuable for us and for the growth and the development of Lunch. Some of his characteristics that make him so unique and so valuable and really make him a model member within the community. He's fair, he's diplomatic, he's extremely respectful. He has a, he's very strong-minded in his own opinions, but he's extremely respectful of other people's opinions when, they, when, they, when they're starkly different from his own. 
And that's something that's really hard to do for anybody that's online writing reviews, to really understand what somebody sitting on the other side of the table has to say. And Paul's consistently demonstrated that he's able to do that. And it's one of the things that I personally respect the most out of anybody who's contributing content online. And Paul's done a fantastic job with that. Additionally, he's an amazing resource for music history, political history, sports history. He can cover all those topics. He's written reviews from, on things from body surfing to his Boston Red Sox, from um, propositions to, to Palin. He can cover a wide variety of topics across many, many different categories. That's pretty broad. He's extremely broad. And not only that, he's really kind of taken the next step from contributing in and moved up one level to the point where he started his own communities now. And he's got two of the more robust communities going on lunch. His public policy community is fantastic, as well as his Music Matters community. So, Paul, thank you very much for taking all the time and sharing so much of yourself with lunch and with the lunch community. And I've got to say, when you, when you read through somebody's reviews that are as genuine as Paul's, and, and, and as genuine as a lot of members, I'm speaking to a lot of members within the community, you feel like you really get to know them on a level that you might not even know somebody who's your neighbor or who sits in the cube next to you because these people take the time to expose a lot about themselves and they should be rewarded for that. And Paul, you're one example of this, but we see this hundreds of times every day across lunch and um, we're just really happy to have you on. We hope that we still, uh, still have, you, uh, have you on for some time to come. So thanks, Paul. Congratulations on the Lifetime Achievement Award. Hi gang, would like to thank everybody at the lunch office, JR, and everybody at the office, everybody who contributes to the site. Thanks so much for awarding me the Lunch Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Hi gang, would like to thank everybody. So good to see him. Paul's great. <laughs> um, and congrats again, Paul. And moving right along, back to the normal format, let's get right back into the best reviews. And we're going to start with the... Uh, best product review. Yes, I will throw in for that one. So best product review, the nominees are Erin for her review of Barnes & Noble Nook, Debbie White for her review of Organic Woolly Ball Pillow, Allison St. Shore for her review of Pamela's Gluten-Free Cornbread and Muffin Mix, yum, Michael McKee for his review of AeroPress Coffee and Espresso Maker, Nathan Anderson for his review of Adobe Photoshop Elements 8, Samantha for her review of purely decadent coconut milk ice cream. Stroller Queen for her review of Britax B Scene. And Tanya Gale for her review of Dell Mini. And the winner for best product review is Erin Blue for her review of the Barnes & Noble Nook. Um, we will be accepting this on Erin's behalf. We didn't have a chance to get a Hooray, video from her. so. Congratulations, Aaron. Thanks again. There's your golden thumb. Um, all right, moving on. Best answer. The, cat the uh, category's best answer. The nominees, excuse me. The nominees are Adriana for her answer on Kindle. Kindle or Nook for my stepdaughter. Holly Camping Dog for her ha answer on weighing the cost of veter veterinarian bills. Charles Ashbacher for his answer on Seduction of the Innocent, the Influence of Comic Books on Today's Youth. Sherry and Reno for her answer on Five Books to Have While Stranded on a Desert Island. And Ward Cadell for his review about red wine. All right. Last envelope. You this ready? And the winner for the best answer category is Adriana for her answer on Kindle or Nook for my stepdaughter. Congratulations, Adriana. Congratulations. That concludes Thank you, your Lunch, my family and friends, for voting for my answer and helping me to win this wonderful golden trophy. I'm excited and blessed, and I'm really happy that the world understands the value and importance of questions and answers. Thank you. So there you go. Thank you so much to all of you for joining us here for the first ever Lunch Awards annually, so make sure that you're getting your own reviews in for 2011 because you could have said golden thumb. Which, by the way, do you want to tell everyone who makes these? R.S. Owens is the name of the company, the same mm -hmm. folks that make the awards for the actual Oscars, and if you haven't had one, we should weigh it because it's quite hefty, and I was happy to see Jay Beswick actually refer to that in his review, so <laughs> thank you for that, Jay. Um, 
And just to wrap up, I just want to thank everybody again, the people who have written all the reviews, the people who read the reviews and comment on them, um, everybody that's part of the lunch community. Really appreciate what you guys have done to make lunch very different than most review sites that are out there. Um, additionally, I want to thank the community founders because the community founders take a lot of time. It takes a lot of energy to really moderate and cultivate a good community. Um, some of the larger ones would Adriana, Paul, William, Wupak, the Thrill. Not only does he run a community, but he's got the best, best member name on the site, Wupak the Thrill. <laughs> Thank you very much for all the time that you guys have spent and all of the feedback that you've given us as well. And thanks to all the community founders and everybody that's taken the time to really contribute and make lunch what it is. And we really look forward to next year. So thank you very much. Okay. And thank you to JR for coming up with the idea of the Lunch Awards. Well, maybe not completely by himself, but for pushing it through despite the fact that everyone was picking on him. I hope you guys had a good time, and we look forward to seeing you next year. Thanks a lot. Thank you.